All right, guys, now we've got some thin aluminum, so we're going to show you how to cut non-ferrous metal. We don't use the oxygen tip. You use the same tip that you would weld with it. Now, normally welding, you know, I would have a much smaller cone on it right there. All right, so what you do is take, well, this right here is my zero tip for cutting that thin metal. I take that cone out as far as it'll go right here. I'm going to take the very end of that little cone, stick it in the metal, and just a little up and down motion right here. That's how you cut non-ferrous. Now, the thicker piece, I would preheat a little bit because you can cut about one-eighth up to a quarter of an inch. Take that little cone. Notice that I keep that tip right down in the metal. Don't pull it up. If you pull it up off the metal, you're going to get a real wide cut. Now, I know a plasma does a little better job on that non-ferrous, but guys, I tell you what, for four pounds of oxyacetylene, Now let me cool this off for you. All right, now notice right there, guys, how nice a cut. No mess on the back. And again, you get very little metal movement when you're cutting that thin metal. So you cut your aluminum, your stainless, your copper, your brass, all non-ferrous metal that way. Remember, whatever thickness, use that size tip and run that flame out as far as it'll go. Now we're going to cut some thin sheet metal. All right, guys, we're getting ready to cut some thin sheet metal. All right, now we put the undercutter on. That's your little undercutter. You're going to cut with the bottom tip. You're going to heat with the top tip. All right, the top tip for that thin sheet metal is that 0 0.5. It's got that little small V groove. And the zero tip, remember, that's the smooth tip, the one we've been welding with. So that's our two smallest tips. Now, you want to be sure that these tips are lined up this way. If you have to go in and move them around, you can do that. Make sure that that wrench slides between them. You know, you can push it in. You can move it out if you have to. All right, now when you cut with it, you're going to heat with the top tip. You want that back tip right there roughly about a 45. It can be anywhere in here. And you want that tip within a 16th of an inch so we can take that bottom tip right there and drag it right on the metal. You're not generating enough heat to actually mess it up. All right, a little bit of acetylene here, a little bit of oxygen. All right, when you're cutting thin metal, you don't need a real hot flame on it, just a neutral flame. When you pull the trigger, make sure you got a neutral flame right here. I usually try and use two hands. Try and brace yourself with another hand. Again, getting comfortable is very, very important. All right, you want to wait for that metal to turn red. Now, once that metal turns red, pull the trigger right here. Now, once I pull the trigger, your oxygen comes out the bottom. Once I pull the trigger and start cutting, all I'm going to watch is that bottom tip. So wait for the metal to turn red. All right, now all I'm watching is that bottom tip. Pay no attention to that flame once you pull the trigger. Now how sweet is that? Notice how thin. Guys, you can spend two or 3000 on a plasma cutter and not get a cut that thin, that fine. Notice hardly any slag, very little distortion on that. Thin cut, it don't make a difference how dirty, rusty, oily, or greasy. All right, now if I'm cutting one-eighth of an inch, I would go back. My top tip right here would be my number one tip, and that bottom tip would be my copper. That's on one-eighth of an inch only. Now we're going to cut some thicker plate for you. <laughs> 